another episode of the Pin Fearless Female Monday show. I am your host, Steph Hendel. Today I'm going to share with you two things that I honestly feel you can't live without, or you shouldn't live without. Two superfoods. So I decided that every time I do a show, every Monday, um, the first Monday of the month, I'm going to give you the products that I'm in love with right now because I'm constantly seeking and searching for the best products to put into my body and put on my skin. And it seems like the more I talk about this to everybody, the more they're like, tell us what you're coming across. So I thought if my clients are excited about it, you're probably going to be excited about it too. So you can expect that the first Monday of every month, I'm going to be bringing you new products to try new things that are amazing and delicious. And my goal with that is to always talk to the companies ahead of time and get a discount code for you so that you can get it for cheaper. You can use my discount. So that's a little bonus for you. I was just thinking about you in the new year, what I wanted to do and up level for you because that is my new year's goal. So throughout the show, FYI, I'm here live, obviously. <laughs> so I'm here for questions. If you have questions about the stuff that I'm talking about, or you want to share with me your New Year's goals, I would love to hear what you have in mind. So right now, the first thing that I want to ask you is where are you watching from? What's, what state are you in? What country are you in? Say hello. I'd love to see who's on our Facebook Live right now while everybody is just seeing that it's popping up. And I know they put a new button on here, so you can hit that little button um, at the bottom of your screen and hit share, share it on your page so other people can watch this too. They can get a discount code, share the love, and they can learn about some great new products to try too. The other thing, Facebook, you know, doesn't let me make the title super long. And I, if it was up to me, I would make the longest title ever. But I know that um, I got to keep it short and compact. But the other thing I really am here to talk about today is up leveling. So the reason why I'm talking about up leveling is I had this big aha epiphany, whatever you want to call it. Oh, it looks like Trisha's from Florida. Hi, Trisha. Kristen, Pennsylvania. Woo -woo. I grew up in Pennsylvania, Kristen. I grew up in Bucks County. Where are you in Pennsylvania? Jeffrey, woo, the Vortex Encinitas. Yes, I used to live in Encinitas. What's up, Jeffrey? I hope you're having an amazing new year. Actually, I know you are. So I had this big epiphany aha moment where I realized that I'm in good shape. You know, I love my body. I have a very healthy and a very fit body. Uh, health comes easy to me these days, and so does love. My relationship with my fiance is incredible. And so I feel like I am a leader and a master in these things. But, but, I realized that although I am at the top of my game in those two areas, I am not even utilizing what is even close to what's possible for me. So I'm like tapping like the 5% of 100%. And so for me, one of my big things 2017 is a year that I get to tap that 100%, like go further than I ever thought was possible. I think the, the thing that I wrote down, the quote I wrote down when I was talking to Josh the other night, I was like, I was like laying in bed having these like big, oh my gosh, all these good ideas and thoughts coming to me and I said, we need to run free like wild horses, like, like just like nobody's ever seen before. So in 2017, for me, it's up leveling because although I'm, I'm fit and healthy, there's a whole nother level that I've never even gone to. When I first started living a healthier lifestyle, I, somebody said to me, their friend did a triathlon. I'm sure you've heard this story before. And I said, oh, I could never do that. And as soon as I said it, I was like, shoot, that's my challenge. I'm going to do a triathlon. And when I first started, I could barely swim a lap in the pool, hadn't been on a bike since I was a kid and could barely run a mile. So I started real basic and I worked my way up slowly every single day and I showed myself what was possible. And then when I completed the triathlon, I was like, holy shit, that was awesome. What else could I do? So I was like, I'm going to run a half marathon because I never thought in my wildest dreams I would run a half marathon. That just seemed crazy to me. 
So I did a half marathon. And then I was like, wow, that was awesome. I can't believe I did that. Let me see what else I can do. Um, so I did a Tough Mudder, which was 13 miles in the mud, like all these obstacles. I was like, wow, this is amazing. I was freezing cold. I was in like ice baths and ice water. It was cold outside and it was incredible. And I was like, cool, let me see what else I can do, right? So you know, you know what I'm talking about. Once you start to feel good and you start to see what's possible, you're like, I wonder what else I could do. So you start like challenging yourself more and more and more and it becomes really fun and exciting. So that was like me like tapping my 5%. So now this year, I'm really, I don't know what you're thinking. I hope you're thinking the same thing, but it's like, let's tap into 100%. Let's see what 100% looks like. So you're going to see me take and transform what's possible for me physically to a new level. With my relationship with my fiance, Josh, I feel like we have one of the strongest, most loving, deep, powerful, passionate relationships that I've seen because that's been a personal goal of mine, is to every single morning when we wake up, be more in love with each other than the day before. So you're gonna see me take my relationship to a whole nother level too, because I'm like, imagine how the world could transform if our love becomes even greater. And I don't even know what that looks like, but I am so excited for it to reveal itself to me. Like, it was probably looks like us getting married, because we've been engaged for, uh, a while now. I would think over a year we've been engaged, which is something that we just kind of decided like the engagement kind of was like, yay, this happened. And then it was like, cool, we're really focused on our careers and accomplishing things. And I used to plan weddings. So I was like, I don't want stress of planning a wedding. I want it to come easy and all the pieces of the puzzle just come together. So they've started to do that. And, and I think you're going to see that in 2017, you might see a, a wedding from us which would be really great, but even on deeper levels, deeper levels of love. So for me, I am putting that out there. I want to talk more about that after I show you these two products that you got to have, um, superfoods that are going to up level your life. We're going to talk more about that and I want to hear your opinion and everything on it. But um, let's get into the superfoods and then let me quickly just say, see a shout out to everybody over here. Okay, Miami. Is it warm in Miami? It's freezing in California right now, outside of Harrisburg. Nice, I went to Penn State. So I probably drove through there many, many times in my four years of college. Stephanie, what's up? Hi, how are you? Jeffrey, health, wealth, relationships equals true measurement of prosperity is so true. I am very wealthy in love, I'm very wealthy in health, and I, my passion and my reason that I think I'm here on earth is to show everybody else how they can be um, truly wealthy in health and truly wealthy in love. So you're going to see a lot of posts that are dedicated to that. I know Jeffrey, you're, you're very passionate about those same things and you're rocking it. So without further ado, you guys ready for these products? These are what I'm loving right now. These are the things that I'm totally obsessed with using daily, totally love it. Oh, the other thing I'm going to put out there that is so important to me, and I know it's important to you too, is that whenever I do something like this every first Monday of the month, I will never, ever, ever tell you about a product that I'm not using myself and I'm not totally obsessed with myself, okay? I promise you that. I know that a lot of times companies will approach me with their stuff and they'll want me to try it and I will literally turn them down. Um, I think that's important. I don't know, know that I've put that out there enough that I am the kind of person that I will never ever use something myself or recommend something to someone else that I do not 100% believe in, 100%. You know, I, I'm very passionate about health, so if there is something even slightly off in that product, I'm not down with it. I'm not gonna ever recommend it to you to use. Um, I've been approached by so many companies over the years being a health coach and they're like, you know, can you sell this stuff? Can you sell this product, this MLM, this whatever? And I don't do it because I, I heavily, heavily research the ingredients. And if there's anything just a little bit off, I'm like, no, I'm not down with it. I'm not doing it. I will not tell other people to have that because I'm a huge believer that you get your nutrients from eating the right kind of foods. So high, super high quality stuff. I've never been somebody who pushes 
uh, processed things or whatever, not down with it. I'm just not. It's And it's not something I believe you should have in your body. I'm all about healing your body with food. I'm all about naturally um, giving your body exactly what it needs, um, listening to your body, intuition, um, synthesized fake things with chemicals or even one natural flavor no thank you I'll not be eating that and well actually I'm gonna take that back because sometimes I eat things that do have um, processed things in it because I believe in balance and I believe that um, to live a, a healthy happy lifestyle you do you do indulge sometimes at least I do and so sometimes I do have that but on a regular basis the things that I'm eating are very clean very 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 clean that's the only stuff you'll ever see in like my I have a seven day starter program in my eight week programs I give you food schedules I have a fit to find love program that's starting in January they'll get food schedules but they're only gonna be natural things natural foods that'll naturally just take weight off the body just like boom, easy so without further ado hi Mike here is product number one that I feel that you cannot live without so chocolate yes I said chocolate I'm in love with chocolate I eat a lot of chocolate I think it's very healthy to eat a lot of chocolate because chocolate is cacao specifically is very high in antioxidants it is known to produce the happiness hormone in your body the same feeling that you feel when you fall in love and you're just like the world is amazing Chocolate releases that hormone, or cacao. So let's be specific here. I'm not just talking about any kind of chocolate. There's a big difference. Cacao, specifically raw, organic, fair trade, high quality. You want to always be putting the highest and best in your body. If there's one New Year's Eve, New Year's resolution takeaway that I think that you should have. It's to only put the highest and best in your body. And highest and best means organic, uh, fair trade, deliciousness. So this one is Fresh Superfoods, obsessed because this is the only fair trade cacao on the market. Only one. So um, this is also organic. It is delicious. If you need an energy boost, did you know that cacao will give you that? Because if you have like a couple of cacao nibs, you just eat a few of those, super bitter FYI, but they will give you such a good natural energy burst. Or if I want something super fast, I'll just do like a scoop of this. So if you wanna take a look at what it looks like, it's just powdered cacao. And if, do you know what cacao is by the way? Does everybody know? Um, cacao is a bean that grows on a tree. So you see the pod on here? So it looks like that when it grows on the tree and when you crack it open it looks like that it's got little pods and there's like this white goo around the pod and oh my gosh it's so delicious it tastes nothing like chocolate but it's it to me it tastes like a sweet tart and you can kind of like suck the goo off of the bean and then the bean you dry it and then then that's when it starts it's got like the chocolate flavor when it's dried or baked in the sun um, when Josh and I lived in Hawaii, cacao grows in Hawaii on the Big Island. So we had a friend who had a couple of cacao trees and we would always go over there and we'd pick the pods, crack them open, and we'd lay them in, in the sunshine and bake them. One time we tried to bake them in the oven too. We made our own homemade cacao nibs, which was amazing. Um, but that's what it looks like and that's what you get and then they they'll grind it up into this powder, which is, if you were to just eat this, super bitter, but very delicious. Um, so to make it taste a little bit more like maybe the chocolate that you're used to, you can put some honey, raw local honey, or 100% pure maple syrup, just kind of mix it in. And then it starts to get a lot sweeter. You can do what my friend Liana Warner Gray likes to do, which is the three ingredient chocolate. She taught me this and I just love I love this recipe. I always make it when I'm just craving a little something. So shout out to Liana. She's the author of The Earth Diet and the new book, 10 Minute Recipes, which is a bestseller and it's an amazing book. So you guys will love it. Um, so what I do, thanks to Liana, is I take a scoop of it, a heaping scoop because 
Cacao is amazing for you. High in magnesium too, which most people are deficient in magnesium. So a good way to get your magnesium, cacao. Eat more cacao. I'll put this in my smoothies, but if I'm doing the chocolate, you just take a scoop of it, and then you also do like a tablespoon of pure maple syrup or honey, raw local honey, and then some kind of a, um, what's it called? Some kind of a nut flour, almond flour, um, macadamia nut flour, co coconut flour. Personally, I like the almond flour the best. And you just mix it up, and then I do just like a spoonful because it's so rich in chocolate that I eat a spoonful and I'm like, that was perfect. That totally satisfied my sweet craving. I feel great. I didn't go eat a cupcake or a huge thing of cake, and I'm just sweet craving satisfied. So that's the cacao. You can do a lot with that uh, other than just put it in your smoothies, but um, or making three ingredient chocolate. But I'll, if you guys are interested, let me know, comment below, and I'll make some baking videos and we can bake together with this amazing cacao. Oh, if you want this too, by the way, like I said in the beginning, if you weren't here when we first started, anytime I do the first of the month on a Monday and I tell you about my favorite things, my favorite healthy things right now, I'm always going to talk to the company ahead of time and see if I can get you guys a discount code, like a discount like I would use, and see if I can get that available to you. I created a page on my website so that you can do that easily, because um, I know a lot of people have been asking for that lately. So if you go to my website, stephendel.com, there's a new tab up there and it says favorite products, and that's where you'll get the discount. This one's on there right now. I think you saved like three bucks or something, but even better... Shelly, hi Shelly. Even better, this one you're gonna save like close to $8 on. So what is this? Have you ever seen this before? Anybody? Anybody use Fresh Greens right now? I do. I use it basically every single day. I started using it when I went to a Tony Robbins conference in San Jose a few months back. And they had a Whole Foods nearby, so I was eating Decent, but just not my normal amount of greens. So I started having this every day. It makes such a big difference. But why? Why should you use it? Why should you even care? Because your body has this balance of acid to alkaline. And it's a scale I'm sure you remember from science class. It's called a pH balance. So you want to be more alkaline than acidic, but most people are more acidic than alkaline because... Here's some acidic things. Let me know if you're having any of these in your diet regularly. So acidic things would be um, alcohol, meat, dairy, um, a thing that's not food, stress. Stress is very, very, very acidic for your body. Um, sugar is acidic. So if you're having a combination of a lot of these things, so if you're having a, com a combination of acidic breakfast, acidic lunch, acidic dinner, and acidic dessert, then your body is probably very acidic. And then if you're stressed out, just add an extra acid load on there. The reason why you don't want to be acidic is because that's where disease breeds from. You're basically making yourself a open channel saying, disease, come on, come find me. I'm available to you. So you want to shut that down, close the door, and bring in more alkaline things. That's how you do that. So some great stuff is alkaline water, making sure your water is really clean and high quality. Um, another great alkaline thing to do, lemons. Lemons are amazing to alkalize your body. But most people think, no, that's got to be acidic. Lemons are acidic, right? Lemons are alkaline when you digest them. So they're very, very good. Like a glass of warm water with lemon in the morning, something everybody should do every day. But even better... Fresh greens. So this is like the most alkalizing mixture ever. You've got, it's also organic and non-GMO, which is very important to me. And I think should be very important to you too. But okay, so here's some of the stuff we have in here. Uh, organic parsley, spirulina, wheatgrass, oat grass, barley grass, alfalfa grass, spinach, alfalfa sprout, collard powder, uh, broccoli sprout, barley grass, oat grass, chlorella, wheatgrass, alfalfa, kale. 
so many green things, so many alkalizing things. And one of the most alkalizing things is greens, you know, leafy greens or spirulina or chlorella. This is like a big mix of all that stuff together. And let me show you something fun. You probably remember this from science class too, but these are um, strips that will test your pH to tell you if you're acidic or alkaline. And you can see there's a chart on the back. It shows you with colors that you can, depending on what color this comes out, you're either acidic or you're alkaline. So how you do this, you start with it like that. And then you put it under your tongue for 15 seconds. So we're not gonna, I'm not going to talk for 15 seconds, okay? You gotta entertain yourself. Okay, ready? There's my color. And you hold it up to the back. And it tells you. So I am, oops, upside down. So I'm in the balance zone. That's where you want to be. But it might come out and tell you that you're really acidic. And if it does, then it's like, hold on, I got to get some alkalizing things into my body. Why? Because otherwise, if you're in the acidic zone and you stay there for a long, a long time, you are basically welcoming disease, sickness, illness, things that you don't want into your body. Not a good thing. You want to be alkaline. Keep your body super alkaline. One of the easiest and best ways I've found to do that, other than eating your greens every day and drinking your lemon water, is having a cup full of that. So you just take a scoop, just like this, put it in your water, and it depends how hardcore you are. If you're like me, super hardcore, you just put a little lemon in it. But if you are not so hardcore and you're new to this, then I would say you can mix it. I've heard this mixing it with apple juice is really good, but not just any apple juice because apple juice can get uh, it can get weird. So we'll mix it with um, a very high quality like organic apple juice if you are gonna go there. You can just put it right into a smoothie. That would be better, I would, I feel. Or um, you can do what I'm doing, which is some lemon to go in your fresh greens. And it's that simple. You just drink it, and then you can test your pH right after. Um, and then you can see that almost right away you go back to having a very alkaline body. So I think this stuff is amazing. It's my travel buddy, and it's also, like Josh and I have been drinking it before we go to bed a lot. Um, it just, we wake up and we feel really good, feel really fresh and like ready to go. So if maybe you're waking up very groggy in the mornings, this might be a really good thing for you to do. You're probably, a lot of times when you do wake up, when it's hard for you to wake up, you're very, um, you're too, you're overly acidic. Uh, whether it's stress or foods or alcohol or whatever. Um, you can just be way too acidic and it can make it challenging to have the energy to do a lot of the stuff you need to do. And since 2017 is about up leveling, right? Then it's super important that you get your energy and your inspiration levels super high. Give your body exactly what it needs so that you are ready and raring to go. Because you can't go to your next level if you're not pumped and you're not energized. Okay, I'm going to read a couple comments. All right, Trisha, no, but I've been looking into it, wasn't sure which brands. Cool, I think, I forget which question I asked, but, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure um, I was asking if you've tried Fresh Greens. So yeah, if you haven't, check it out, girl. I've got a discount for you on my website if you wanna try it out for like not the full price. Um, Shelly says, where do you get those? So. This one, Fresh Greens, you can buy at the supermarket. At not any supermarket. Whole Foods carries it. Um, this one, I'm not sure if Whole Foods has it yet. It might. If not, it's going to get it in soon. And I know they may be in Costco soon. I'm not sure about that. They're definitely not in there yet. But the, I have the, a discount that I'm sharing with you guys. It will be, you'll, 
pay a lot less than you would pay in any supermarket or anywhere that you would buy it. So definitely check that out. If you want to tap into that, then you just go to my website, which is stephhendel.com. I just put up a new tab. It's called favorite products. I'm going to keep all my discounts for all you guys right on there so that you never have to pay full price because I get it. Everybody wants to save a little money wherever they can. And if I can share my own personal discount code with you, then why not? So, yep, that's where you get them. I'm going to take a sip of this. So you, being like a uh, superfoods addict over here, I have a taste for very like earthy green things. You notice that as you eat healthier and healthier, your taste buds change. So for me, this is like I drink it and I just feel like every cell in my body just being like, yeah, I'm so pumped. I feel so good, so energized so ready to go like thank you for the nutrients thank you thank you thank you that's what i feel um some people drink it and they're like oh it tastes like greens so you might want to just ease your way into it put it in a smoothie drink it with the apple juice if you have to but definitely ease your way into the water because you don't want to always drink it with apple juice mike can i give you kangen water for two weeks and get your opinion tony drinks that awesome um, I will definitely try it and I'd love to see the info on it before I try it, but yeah, it sounds pretty good. I know my aunt has a Kangen water machine and it's pretty cool. So let's see, do you drink it once a day or more? So the fresh greens with these, I drink this once a day. If you are very acidic, if you're eating a lot of acidic things, maybe you're transitioning to a healthier diet. You would want to drink it more than once a day. I think on here it might say, I think it says to do like three. Oh, for initial alkalizing, use three times a day for seven days. So there you go. But if you're already eating a pretty healthy, nutritious, alkalizing diet, then once a day is good or every time you feel it, if you're really in tune with your body, you know that your body tells you exactly what it needs when it needs it. I'll be like sitting on my computer doing stuff and I'll just be like, I'm just kind of like craving some fresh greens. And then I'll think about it and I'll be like, wow, I ate a lot of acidic things so far today. I really needed that like alkalizing. So my body's kind of like downloading to me like, hey, FYI, you need something alkaline. Um, so it just kind of tells me, but you know, wherever you are on the spectrum of new to this stuff or been doing it for a while, you can kind of feel it out from there. But this is amazing, seriously. I'm obsessed with this stuff, you guys. My friend, he was like, why don't you give this a try? He was like, just see if you like it, just see. And I was like, all right, I'll try it. And now I'm like, I can't live with all this stuff. Everybody who just did the Healthy Holiday Mindset course, it was an eight week course on losing weight and keeping it off during the holidays, staying really fit and going in with a New Year's resolution not to lose weight, a New Year's resolution to be, you know, just new things, new and higher, better things. Everybody got one of these, which was really cool. So I love sharing this with them and everybody's digging it. So let's see, um, where do you get the color tab? Oh, okay, so to get these strips, you can buy certain strips at, I think like drugstores have them, um, but this is the Fresh Greens brand and I will put the discount code for those up there after this show is over. I know that's, it's not, right now it's just this and this. So I'll put that one up too. But actually, if you order it on there, just put in Body Built by Love in the coupon code. Then you'll get my discount and then you'll get a discounted price on that. These are more high quality than the ones you'll get at CVS, but yeah, these are pretty cool. pH strips. I love it. It's kind of a fun game. And if you have kids, kids love it. And it's a really good way to educate them on health. Because you're like, okay, you know, you want it to be these colors. Try it out. Are you these colors? If you are, then, you know, you've, you're alkaline, which is healthy. And you teach them all about the alkaline acid balance. And it's really cool. Really, really interactive. And for adults, too. I'm like a big kid, so. Um, let's see. Debbie, where do you get the test tabs. I think you're talking about those. So yeah, you'll be able to get them on my website, which is my name, stephhendel.com. There's a tab on there that says favorite products. And it's, I will put this one on there 
right after the show. If you get to it before I do, just type Body Build by Love into the coupon code and then you'll get my discount. So I'm always gonna save you guys money. If you weren't here in the beginning, every first Monday of the month on the show, I'm gonna do my very favorite things and I will never, ever, ever show you something that I'm not using myself and I'm not obsessed with myself. So it's always gonna be high quality. It's always gonna be amazing. Oh, and then the other thing that makes this different too, uh, getting these fresh strips instead of the ones at the, um, at like the drugstore is that they have two test boxes. So as you saw on the one that I used, we got two little things. They've changed colors now that it's been out of my mouth for a while, but um, see the two boxes? It's a little bit more accurate, so just FYI. Pretty cool. Little bonus. So this stuff is so good, you guys, with some lemon in it. Mmm. I got a seed. Hold on. Okay. I'm back. So as promised, now that I've told you about my two favorite things right now, and this, by the way, bake with this. Um, better if eaten raw, like a raw cookie dough or a raw um, three ingredient chocolate. Earth diet. This is just the bomb. High in magnesium, makes you feel happy. Amazing. The only cacao you should ever use. Don't use cocoa anymore. Throw your cocoa out. It's 2017, right? Clear space for the new. You gotta clear out the old to clear space for the new. Clear out any cocoa you have and put cacao. That's not even worth eating cocoa because there's no nutrients, there's no bonus to it, no benefits for your body. And every time you eat something, you should eat it for a reason. You should eat it for energy, you, could, you should eat it for nourishment, you should eat it to improve your brain function, you should eat it to improve your skin, your hair, your nails, whatever. Everything should have a purpose like that. So, cacao, not cocoa. Fresh greens to alkalize. And most importantly, because stress is acidic, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit right now about how to bring the things you want to you in 2017. So 2016, great year, great, great year. But 2017, I'm more of a mindset coach, by the way, guys. Like I started my training in health coaching and then I got certified as a personal trainer and I love those things and I love food, I love cooking, I love being as healthy as I possibly can, but more important, the thing that really has the most power over you is your mindset, your brain. So here's a brain tip for 2017 because I know you got resolutions, I know you got things that you want to do and let's make sure they're not hopes and dreams, let's make sure they're things that are actually going to happen for you. And in order to do that, you must, must, must clear space. You think of it as like a box. And this is the box for say, say something that you wanna improve in 2017 is your relationships. You wanna draw love to you, you wanna find love, or you wanna draw a better love to you, or a healthier love, or you just want more love in your relationship. You have a box of love and in this box of love you have all these limits and you have all these stories and you have all these beliefs uh, that have happened in the past this person did this to me this person said this to me this is how love is all the good ones are taken or I'm just not deserving of that or all the many stories or you know I dated this person once and they told me that I am not pretty enough and so now I think I'm not pretty enough for anybody. You know, these are all stories that we've created about love over time, and they're all filling this box. This box is overflowing, like you can barely stuff another thing into it. So there is no room for the love that you want. No room. So what you gotta do is you gotta open the box up, you gotta dump it out, you gotta burn that stuff, because that stuff no longer serves you, and it's not good for you. It's not worth being in your life. Burn it. Keep the box, and now it's open, and now you have all this room in there, all this space where what you want can come in. What you want cannot come in unless you clear space for it. There's only so much space there. So take out all the things that were once limiting you. And another thing for 2017, 
forget the past. The past is gone. And the more you focus on the past, the less you can create what you want in the future. So look, staring at the past and saying, this is how it was before, or this is how it is, or this is what this person told me, or this is how it's always been and how it always will be. You cannot create any space for something new that you want. So you gotta say, bye past, you happened, but bye, I'm not gonna think about you anymore, you're great, thanks, see you later. Focus on the future, focus on none of that stuff, don't let that carry with you, because this can be this beautiful masterpiece that you get to paint whatever amazingness you want. You want an amazing body? Paint that on there. Possible, you want amazing love, relationship? Paint it on there, that's possible for you. You want wealth beyond your wildest dreams? Paint that on there. But you can't have wealth beyond your wildest dreams if you're still holding on to a story over here about how you have to work really, really hard for lots of money and you just don't wanna work that hard or you're hanging on to a story that says, you know, I'm working a job that couldn't ever pay me tons of money. I'm stuck. These are all stories because there's somebody, many people in this world who have your same story, your same lifestyle, but they've got all of this, right? How did they make it happen? They don't have an extra 24 hours in the day. Everybody's got the same 24 hours. They have different beliefs. They have a different mindset. Maybe they have this same job that pays them the same amount of money as you do and they're capped, but they're open-minded to all the other ways that money comes into their lives. I can tell you right now that this morning, I said to myself, okay, I clear, I clear any, um, any loose money blocks that might've been there from 2016, clear them out of the way. Now money finds me. Instead of me seeking money, money finds me. And then guess what happened to me all day so far, random money just starts showing up, right? This person forgot to pay me for something. Here you go, extra hundred. Oh, this person wanted to take me out to lunch. Oops, more money for me. Like all these things just all day long today. They've been like just coming to me. Money just coming without me chasing it, it finds me. So that's a different mindset, right? And this is the thing about it. you might just say, whatever, Steph. You, can, you can't just change your mind and then all this stuff comes to you. But the truth is, when you start thinking different thoughts, your brain starts working in a different way. And when your brain starts working in a different way, you start coming up with concepts and ideas and ways that you would have never thought of in the past, of things coming to you. So, I'm just saying. And here's the other thing too. You just ask for it and you put it out there and then you let it go. The second that you start to have all those past limiting beliefs start to come in, that's when this goes away. So if this is here, this can't come in. You have to clear it out. You gotta clear out all the things that say, yeah, but, yeah, but this, yeah, but that, yeah, but this person said this about me. That's, that means I can never blank. You gotta clear it out to have all of this. 2017 is gonna be your year. It's set up to be your year of the most abundance that you've ever had, but you must let go of all of that in order to have it. Otherwise, you're gonna to get to 2018 and you're gonna be like, crap, I didn't do any of those things I said I wanted to do. And I want you to have all that stuff. I really want you to have it because it's waiting for you. It's not like some rocket science. It's simple. And that's what I created my Fit to Find Love course on. So if, you, if love is one of your things that you want to bring into your life in 2017, Fit to Find Love course is exactly for you because it is going to not only integrate how to get healthier and, be, and prepare your body and your mind for love, but attract love to you. So it's clearing away, this is what the course is all about, clearing away all of this about old stuff, old patterns, old beliefs, that you aren't deserving of it, worthy of it, the things that somebody said to you one time that made you think that you are unlovable or maybe you're lovable but only for a short amount of time or um, you know, unattractive or any of these things that are keeping love from finding you because what you seek is seeking you. And if you are out there seeking love it, there's literally the love of your life looking for you right now, right this second. They're looking for you. 
but they can't find you if all that's, remember the box? If the box is too full, they can't find you. So you gotta clear the box, you gotta open the box, dump it out, burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it. And now you have a new box ready to go, ready to bring that stuff in. So if that's what you want in 2017, Fit to Find Lab course is awesome. It's starting next week on Tuesday, January 10th. You can sign up for it on my website, stephendel.com. It's gonna be awesome. I'm also gonna teach you how to get in great shape while doing it. You'll have a nine minute workout with me every single day. You're gonna have healthy recipes with good things that are gonna make weight just strip off of you easy. And I'm gonna be up-leveling everything myself. And as I up-level, of course, I bring you with me. So that's also a big part of it. So let's see, Shelly says, this is super informative. Good, that makes me so happy. That's why I do these Monday shows now. Every Monday, 3 p.m. Pacific time, 6 p.m. Eastern time, I'm gonna be here bringing you good info. Mike says, I like how simple you keep things. Thank you. Simplicity is one of my biggest elements of my life and my business. Must keep it simple. Once it starts to get complicated, it's like, no, no thanks. It's gotta be fun and it's gotta be simple. Otherwise, you're not gonna do it. And you're not gonna do it consistently, right? So it's gotta be a, a mindset and a lifestyle for a lifetime. I want, like my concern, <laughs> I told you guys, like I'm never gonna share something with you that I wouldn't use myself and I don't believe in. I will never, ever give you something that is going to be a quick fix. I'm not into quick fixes. If you want a quick fix, go to somebody else. That's not me. I'm not here for that. I give you a lifestyle of health, something that you can keep for a lifetime, which is why I in integrate mindset into everything I do. So if you want to up level in 2017 with me, write yes or a why below and let me know because I'm ready to go to 100% on all these things. And I would love people who want to do that too, to join me. I'm good doing it solo, but if I have people with me, Awesome, let's make a team effort of it. So let's see what's possible for us in 2016 in every area, oops, 2017, in every area of our lives. Health, wealth, career, relationships, lifestyle, everything. Let's go see what 100% looks like, not just 5%. Not just good, phenomenal, outstanding. Let's see what outstanding looks like on us, right? It's gonna be great. Anyway, glad you guys joined me. You can get all my previous episodes on my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com backslash Steph Hendel. Keeping it simple across all my social medias. It's all Steph Hendel. Um, you check out my Instagram. I'm constantly doing Insta stories. Today I went taco to the local taco place. Amazing. You got to check it out if you're over here. Um, Facebook, I'm on like all the time. Really, really always putting out inspiring posts for you. Um, let's see, Mike says, sounds great, good, and I think that's it, yeah, YouTube for these videos, Instagram, Facebook, oh, and my website, stephendel.com, fit to find love, and get your products over there, check it out, let me know how you like them, and then next month, I'll be doing another one, the first of the month, yay, thanks for joining me today, guys, it's been really fun, and I know amazing, great things are coming for you, so let's up-level in 2017.